Kwani ya mtazamaji wa Video Club. How you doing this beautiful day? Shukrani Mwalana Hamdulillah to kwa kwa mara nyingine tena. Leta episode nyingine moto sana katika Video Club. Don't forget to follow pale kwenye Facebook, Instagram na Twitter at Video Club. Alafu kwenye YouTube pale Video Club. Follow, subscribe, dunga notification bar ili kidunda tu video unaipata. Leo hii tumefika Ruiru Bypass. Kuna chemba fulani ambayo imeleta gumzo sana mitandaoni. Watu wanalia left right and center. Osbi ndoa zinavunjika kwa sababu ya men's chamber. Leo hii ndio mimi tumtafute mwenyeji ama mkurugenzi wa men's chamber hapa Ruiru Bypass tupige naye story. Wazazi wake walimzaa wakamuita Frida Mwende. Lakini yeye mwenyewe aita Frey Mwende. Then the men's chambers hapa Ruiru Bypass. Niaje Mwende? Poa sana. Niko fit. You look beautiful this thank morning. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Kwa sababu hiyo choka. Aish, huku tunakuanga hivyo all the time. All the time. All Sasa kwa sababu bill clock imefika hapa. Ah, of course tuko happy bill clock amekuja ni big deal uh -huh. lakini tunakaanga kwa all the time. All the time. Mm -hmm. Eh bwana congratulations for what you doing down here. Thank yani you. Yaani ni nzuri sana. Mtoto wa kike katika umri wako kwa chief kama hii ni jambo ambalo ni nzuri oh, sana. Asante. Okay, no, right about now businesses are not doing very well. Sika mimi kwa back pay. Um eh, economy economy iko tough kama inaenda recession hivi lakini unajua pe economy kwa ngumu inatusaidia sababu economy kisumbua wazee wazee wanakuja ku relax. Angalau relax kidogo. Wapate masaji na nini. Wapate masaji, body scrub, wana relax. Karibu sana katika bill of clothes. Mimi tukianza tu wewe umezaliwa wapi mm -hmm. na umesomea wapi umesomea mm -hmm. nini mpaka kufika hapa hivi? Am um, nimezaliwa Embu nimesomea public school zo my life mm -hmm. eh zile shule ambazo ni polling station eh zile za polling station zenye mnafunga wakati wa election <laughs> mkanda university Kenya University mm -hmm. nika drop out second year why ju nilifeel lecturers wanakuja wananiambia wanafunza vizuri yes but wananiambia venye naweza gm power financially uko nasomea nini uko nasomea theater and film actually Aha. yes yes so nika drop out nikasema hata nitafute hela mm. ah eh hey. uli drop out si because of school fee lakini like, ndio una kwamba so wasting your time niliona na waste time na waste school fees nikasema hata nitafute hela so uka venture into what Mtaventa mara kwanza nilianza kufanya mambo ya freelance. Hii many of them wanafanya na international companies. Nikajifunza marketing, nika go to an international easy online courses, nikajifunza marketing, nika get some marketing gigs with international clients. Alafu nikaanza kuuza beauty products za wanawake. Alafu sasa nikaingia kwa the barber shop. How long did it take you to open this barber shop? Um, I saved for the barber shop for one year actually I said oh, really? yes I like said how much were you saving on a daily or weekly or one I, I don't have a definite amount for daily or weekly kwa sababu sasa hizo gigs za freelancing na pia beauty products hujui kesho itakuwaaje so nikipata na jinyima naweka na nikipata na jinyima naweka unaweka chini ya pilo ama kwa bank ah niko naweka kwa bank eh au ukiweka chini ya pilo utatumia na sherehe wewe ndio mimi nafanya nini hapa eh so niko naweka kwa bank for vanya actually close to 2 years the so like you work. are focused that i'm saving to open a business or i'm saving to open a barber shop i was focused i'm i'm saving to open a business alafu as the time went by nikifanya research nikaona mimi na fit more na barber shop because mm -hmm. i have a son na kwanga na enjoy kuka groom hata kakia kadogo mm -hmm. na pia mtu wangu pia niko na enjoy kum groom eh niko na masaji ni nani ah niko na kwa niko na skill au sio acha you put them into action nika sema tanditi into action let it do so scouting for a business place what were you looking at na uli save pa kafika pesa ngapi Wow, you know nikikuja hapa unajiwekea tiles, unajiwekea dirisha nini nini. So the whole cost was like 250,000 just on the on the on the Interior. on the interiors, yeah. Alafu the equipment pia ni expensive. So I can say at first it was like 400 for 50,000. Alafu when scouting for the place, nilikuwa nataka mahali penye wazee hawana mambo mingi. Hapa kando kuna nyama choma na kawash. Alafu ni hapa karibu tu na barabara, parking ni kubwa na mali very private. Yeah. Eh, mali wazee hawasumbuliwi. 
So nikatafuta hapa na pia nikasema hakuna wanawake wanakuja hapa. So yeah. Men only. Men only. Kuja na bibi mwache uko kwa party. Hakuna kupita hapa. No thanks hapa. Akipanda hapa juu anaambia ah kuja tuende. Hapana tunaita soja mteremshe. Wow. Bigire inspiration yako kufungua such a place. What was the inspiration? Um niliona I saw like men 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 are normalized relaxing. Men men are depression suicide rates are high and it just takes some time you know for yourself to go and uh, get pampered in a quiet environment you know to just treat yourself yeah. men really do that mm-hmm. they have been stigmatized you can get massage you you are bad but it's it's not there's nothing wrong when i deserve to all could relax come on okay so that's why i i focused on a man's only barber shop ya koza nake ako na mingi ile. Eh manake mwanaume unachukua gari lako, unalipeleka kwenye kaosh linaoshwa vizuri mm. lakini wewe mwenyewe you don't get pampered. You don't get pampered. Yeah. Unalipia watu wako salon your daughters, your moms, your wives lakini wewe unaenda tu kinyozi 200 unatoka hapana. It must be something extra. Yes, yes. Now, umefungua place ni mpya, there's no any barber shop around. What mechanics did you use to advertise ili watu wajue kwamba ni aje? Kuna men's only barber shop here. Actually in the in the first days I used to stand here na ekelea meza makiti na simama hapa wanione wakipita niki you know, hapa hivi eh hey, nikiambia kujeni ya yeah. nawe vivi nina wave nina dance dance hapa juu wana, wana simama wanaangalia na pointia juu ya uh-huh. signage manchemba baba shop then me and my girls we started going out passing flyers in our uniforms Alafu of course sasa kuna Twitter. Twitter nilipost tu picha moja in address nikisema I'm grateful. They they turned against me but somehow that thing I I came and used it for for marketing. You know, I didn't take it I didn't take it negatively. Yeah, I used all that energy and walikuwa na yenyewe into making this business work. Aha. Uh-huh. Alafu watu of course anapenda watu wakitwakiwa ilikuwa <laughs> <laughs> so you talking ndio ikabidi kaanza kuvuta watu. Ah hiyo talking, hiyo talking iliwavutia sana cuz it's not many baba shops you go at unatengenezwa alafu kuna mtu wako hapo anatwak, no. Mm. Mm. Now there are many women ambao wanafikiria kufungua biashara mm. lakini wana kwamba eh hey, biashara ni ngumu. Especially this time ambapo yeah. kuna recession, mm. economy ni ngumu you know. Mm. Wasema wale ambao wana keep on doing the business mm. wako na moyo ngumu sana. Mm. What is pass you na daily kwa sababu unajua kwamba sasa hivi ukiangalia mtu vako mm. utengeze hela ambayo unatengeza kitambo. Mimi mm. nakuinspire kila siku kuja tu kama bado I need to teach a vizuri. Um, first of all ni my employees because they are I brought in here and I promised them that we are going to grow that you are going to grow and some of them have kids they have families so no matter what every day we must wake up and find a way to bring customers for them because they have families they have lives and um it's it's like my son I have a son and this this whole business is for him so I cannot stay in bed atiju hakuna customers juku na economic recession tutakuja tutatwak na watakuja wata <laughs> tutakuja tutatwak you know and they'll come and they'll come mm-hmm. plus you also give complimentary drinks so una relax kutoka hapo una check at <laughs> when you started yeah. ilikuwa ni hii room moja tu yes. but right now you have like uh, three or four rooms and you have very many things that yes, down there yes. massage room nini hakuna tajezo vitu vingine na gani kwa um tuko na massage rooms mbili mm-hmm. kwa hizo massage rooms kuna side ya massage mm-hmm. na pia kuna side ya body scrub yenye mtu analala na oshwa na maji moto mm-hmm. pia tuko na waiting lounge yenye watu amina watch world cup as watu wanafanywa facials uh-huh. yes yeah, so men have been coming to watch the world cup as they are getting facials and pedicures mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just so you know, a World Cup huko umerelax. Umerelax. Ile tension ya World Cup ni na nini tayari na Eh, hey, ukikaza hapo ukiona Ronaldo amefunga jafunga, umerelax bado. 
So how did you grow? How many uh, days did it take you to grow from this one room to all those other services? Um, we opened this room in February, but the thing was, we get the money, we put it back in the business. So, akukwa na tikuenda sherehe, akukwa na kuenda tikuju to make to make popular, to make some money, if you can spend it and no. So we get the money, we put it into expansion. Every profit we get, we put it into expansion. So, um, break even, balance out. We can say we did that at around June, June. So February, March, April, June, four months kind of, of constant work. Even. Yes. How did you source for the barbers? What qualifications did you look at? How did you source for the workers? We a lot of qualification there. Um, my, 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 okay, because I'm the HR, I'm quite criticized because of how I advertise my jobs, but I, it's just how it is. I usually say that I want a bad, uh, I don't, I can't use that word. I don't just know, use it. I just say I use, I, I want bad <laughs> for, to employ like, bad Like, okay, advertise, like, I need bad Yes, job vacancy for bad Skills. <laughs> Skills. <laughs> shaving and shampooing and massaging but first of all you must be a bad Define bad you must be confident you must be able to express yourself you can entertain customers you look good you feel good you have good energy you are, you are about the money yeah confidence is key you see, you're not shy, you're not reserved, you're not conservative. Then you just go all out. As liberal as you can, yes. So, okay, advertise evil, unapata what wanna apply. Yes, yeah, so these are bad <laughs> Including yourself. <laughs> yes, including me the baddest. <laughs> <laughs> so, you are the director, the CEO, the HR, you know. Like, is it at Rosote anyway? The There's accountant. There's no one by um, and I'm a personal assistant. And I talk Fahima. And she's amazing. So, I'm going to take care of the nitty gritties. Yes, but basically, I'm everything. Oh, and um, up at Baba Shop, among the ladies, there is uh, Rachel, the manager, and Cynthia, the assistant manager. So, they help to keep things running when I'm not here. Uh -huh. Yes. How often do you come to this place? I come here every day. I'm usually here by 7 a.m. Yes. Like that discipline is important. Discipline for me is my biggest flex. Because without discipline, you'll... Utajipata tu na piga sherehe kila wakati. Yes, yes. So I have to be here early. Because I also have another... I have a, a day job. Uh -huh. I am employed somewhere. Uh -huh. Yes, so I have to come here and manage the places I'm still working. It's hectic. Yeah. But God did. Yeah, God did. <laughs> so, so like every day, seven a.m. Ukwapa. Yes. No matter what is happening. No matter what is happening, unless my child is not feeling well, but I'll be here at seven a.m. What we keep him na mutsu iskibao. So we come na mutsu mi osiku na sema ah. Fai mani age so fungu tu mi taka mkesha. Eh, pesa iji mutsu. Pesa itambu mutsu nzo kapo na mutsu nzo ko takufanja. <laughs> you just have to come. You have to come because at our mean I expect to akuje. So I have to set a good example. I yes, I have to show them no matter what you must come to work. So I cannot afford the kunini kutokuja. Yes. yes. Ingine, your worst day in business before that. My worst day in business. Hmm. Your worst day in business before that. My worst day in business. Must be the day uh, in the elections it were announced. Mm -hmm. Yes, because we had to close early. People were rowdy around this place. They were rowdy. Mm -hmm. um, my girls, when they were leaving, they were kulikwanga na pickpocketers. So they were attacked. Some lost their phones. Some were kakuwa injured. Alafu, um, one of the people who was here left the door open. Yes, they didn't close the door. So you can imagine what what went on here. I, like I, people stole? Not like everything, but you know people are coming. Yeah. So I was called by by the soldier Nikambua, Apa Kuja Fungwa, Kuja. Like in powers, like open like yeah, this? Yeah, like 
alikuwa amefunga kabisa like uh-huh. alikuwa amefunga one side yeah so i had to come my guns are injured yani it was chaotic it was very chaotic and the next day we didn't even open so for me the bad the worst day in business is the, the day that you don't make anything mm-hmm. you didn't make money on your sick elections you didn't make money time your uh, announcement mm-hmm. and you didn't make money the next day so there were, those were three days yeah three days and my girls have to eat in Yumasana in Yumasana how did you overcome it we just had to put in extra hours when he came back we had to put in extra hours we had to more, to do more aggressive marketing so me i had to play my my role in marketing and they they agreed to put uh, overtime so tuko tunataka uko 11 yen 11 yeah na wanaishi mbalimbali eh wanaishi mbalimbali but like i said they are bad so <laughs> about the bag i was here how they are not packed No they are not strapped they are not packed. Oh si kama tu pack. Oh si. No um kuna watu ambao wanafungua business mm. inakuja inafanyika kwa bana it's not what they expected mm. no. Mm. Let me ask you if you are to go back to the drawing board. Mm. What could you have done different? Hmm. If I had if I could go back to the drawing board and start all over again um I think I would have I would have cared less because when I started um the 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 feedback I was getting it was it, yeah it was very negative it affected me kidogo kuna kuna some point I cared and for like a week or two I like stopped marketing I had to set my mind straight So if I could do it all over again, I'll just not give up. I'll see you. Yeah. Then you just do I'll you. I'll just do me and not care at all. And not care. I wasted two weeks for nothing. For like just minding what other people will say yeah. about you. And at the end of the day they are not putting food on my plate. So I just wasted two weeks for nothing caring caring about bullies and negative comments. I but si jakosea constitution so what to relax. Bwana ni mwende Fred Kamanzi Chemba wa Maneo ya Ruiru Bypass au sio taking a small break tutakuwa nakuja kuna watoto wa kike ambao wana twerk itakuwa tunaanza nao kitwerk kwa hivi hapo mwenyewe pia kidogo si unaona afanga lao tengenezo tengenezo kwa maana kwanza itakuwa na midogo katika kinyozi ambacho si changu cha kaida ambacho nimezoea sio ndio place yangu mimi unyolewa lakini leo hii niko men's chamber nje ni experience ile kitu ambao watu wao experience wengine Yeah, it's a relax. Mm-hmm. It's a no boa. Mm-hmm. We'll see them by. It's a matter of being clock. Coming back in a few. Yakuaje mtazamaji wa Bilo Clock welcome back. E bwana niko Ruiru Bypass Men's Chambers hapa hivi. Kinywezi fulani amazing ambao kuna watoto wa kike ambao ukinyolewa ukifanywa huduma wanatwaka alafu unasikia vizuri. Mavazi yangu kwa isaini cha Mviga Designs pale maeneo ya Sadi Road Gate B South B pale piga 0726712110 upate look fulani amazing sana kutoka cha Mviga Designs. Wani dress always katika hizi video za Billy O'Clock. Bado niko naye mtoto wa kike Mwende Frey hapo Men's Chamber ambaye ndo mkurugenzi hapa hivi na ndo mwenyewe wa Men's Chamber. By the way, uh, wanawake wengi huogopa sana wanaume wao kuja kufanywa services kama hizi. Pengine mm. why do you think women fear? You are a woman. Yeah. Unadhani kwa nini wanawake wanaogopa masuala kama haya? Mm, me I think the only women when you are now go panga ni wana okay when you the women who don't treat their husbands well you know if you treat your husband like trash you should be very worried uh-huh. yes cuz he is getting treated well at a certain place cuz my chamber but if you're treating him well you have no reason to be insecure if he comes to the spa cuz he'll come he'll get pampered yes of course but his mind he's not getting attached to it like that like in an intimate So yeah. he would feel like he's getting something that he's missing at home so yes a lot of women don't like their men coming to spas particularly man's chamber mm. at because we talk 
but I think it's the women who are mostly insecure who are like that. No, but, but, mm -hmm. Women do fear their men coming to men's chamber. Yeah. Women about? They are insecure. You are insecure because you don't treat your man well. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you. Mm -hmm. Kwa hivyo kama uko insecure, home treat vizuri, ndio unaogopa na ah, ataibiwa. Yeah. Kwa hivyo. So mtu ambaye ako confident, mnaoga ako confident, mm. ana treat mume wake vizuri, mm. ana wasiwasi. Eh, hey, kama una treat mume wako vizuri kama atakuja nyumbani unampampa hata wewe si si eti kila wakati ati anakuzanga massage hapa peke pia uko nyumbani unafaa unampatie ile massage ya ya mke na mme mnaelewa kama unampatie hiyo massage vizuri basi akikuja hapa uko wori kwa sababu bibi si eti anakuja hapa ku get something you are not giving him anakuja to the normal wellness packages that people go for at spa eh bwana watoto wa kike Treat your women, your men well and right. Wadekeze. Wadekeze ni wana. I see you. Now, na formisha kama kuna siku mke moja ni kujapa kumtafuta mnuake. Has it ever happened? Kama ni kujapa kumtafuta mnuake kwa sababu na namtaka yuko hapa ilikuwa ni usiku. So kulikuwa na client hapa, a very regular client. We love him. So alikuwa hapa alikuja kanyolewa akandoko nyuma shampoo area. Bibi yake alikuwa na pita. And then the way he saw his car, so I kept on up a jew. Kauliza, is my husband here? Well, like your husband? What do you mean? Who? She she took out her phone, showed us the picture. This guy, like who? That one. Atum jui. Atum jui. So one of us went and asked the husband. The your wife is here, and she says she wants to see you. The husband said no. And me what I'm being sure I'm not The client is always right. Kaku get kama biasi atu John and Zewa. We've never seen such a person. Ata to you. Ah, kaleta vurubu. Ah, nataka kuniyanda ni nataka kumuona. I want to get inside. Is he here? What is he doing? So dia kakuja akamchukua akatena chapati eh na heshima tu zake ndio pia tutaki kumza bibi client asikasirike okay kwa hapo chini kwa parking ze akakaa akakaa baada ya shughuli zake akashuka tu kaingia kwa gari lakini tuliona bibi alikuwa anateta alikasirika sana lakini client alirudi Oh, wale rudi so it means I could affect kitu. I could affect kitu. Abaz mngemruso ingie labda ingekuwa noma. Eh ingekuwa noma ju client angekuwa sasa mmetuambia I'm allow women but sasa ameingia. Eh yeah. yeah. to protect the client. The client was very happy. Au sio. Yeah. Is it a pen off and I'm going to your one of case. Ilikuwa ya one of case but sasa since we made it very clear we don't allow women here. They have never come back again. Walikasirika kakasirika kakasirika wakati tukana social media. But our kujangi tena. I will see you. Mm. Now, uh, Paris Romida will face a lot of negative comments and uh, and reviews. I'm going to put it on our own. Maybe what's the worst comment about the negative way? Part of my own. It will affect our mother life. Them calling this business a brothel. Wao kusema hii ni danguro. Ah, uh, hiyo iliniumiza sana sana kwa sababu spas ni mingi lakini hii yangu wamechagua kusema hii ni brothel na hiyo kwanza inani ina negative light. Is it true it's a bro, brothel? No, we don't we don't offer sex here. Yeah? It's we don't we don't do that. It's not a brothel. So that really hurt me because it even affected business to some extent. Yes, but like them saying it's a brothel. Huh made like people who who are very conservative customers when any conservative Wasige. second i have a family so wanafanya and i have parents yeah. so them saying it's a brothel in a, it affect my family because my parents are like so are you running a brothel mm. and i'm like no ma it's not a brothel ni watu wanasema hivyo it affected my relationship with my partner at that time because He's like, it's, I'm a, it's a brothel for you. Because of because of what I have gone, I lewa at that point. So it ilini affect on so many levels, and I lost so many friends at that time. Because everybody was going in that narrative, I just had to cut them off. Yeah. Yes. So how did you overcome that? Um, a meditation. I, I I like meditating. So I I wake up um at 4 a.m. in the morning. I pray. I exercise 
and then I meditate to get my to get my mind stamina. That's how you don't can any sijali chan. I don't give a hoot. My mind is strong. Yes. So prayer, meditation, exercise. Yes. How big you can do? Ah! Where where? What is that? Meditation ni kasha kiasi. Meditation ni kasha sikatai lakini na na hiyo hiyo wakati nafanya um Hapo mtumia lakini sawa tu. Now. Let's talk about the business itself. Yes. Do you just want to be in Rudu Bypass? Do you want to open other branches? What do you have in mind with this kind of business? Um actually I have had investors uh, approach me um to open branches elsewhere but I I want to take it slow. I you know when a business grows so fast in such a short time it can be hard to keep up with the with the tempo. Yeah. Yes. So I would like to open another branch preferably in town town center watu wa CBD wametusumbua nataka wanataka branch wanataka branch eh so tuna tunapanga kufungua another branch in CBD watu wa Mombasa pia wanataka wanataka huko kutwakiwa so tutawapelekea hadi Nakuru yeah but god's god's speed slowly by slowly au sio pengine apart from working mm-hmm. what other thing do you do ya kwa chat watch kwa sababu spa nyingi yes spa nyingi unajua kwamba mm. ziko na happy ending yes do you have happy ending here no we don't have happy ending i know clients who are very weak mm-hmm. wakati wanafanya massage they demand that happy ending how do you deal actually, with actually see just clients see such clients ni all of them men men they are just just the way they are Biologically men are men a bit like that if he's touched for a long time by a woman things are about to rise you know so um the good thing is we have we have very understanding and very respectful clients so when the masseuses are there whoever is there even if it's me whoever is in the room when that happens you know you you get to an understanding with the client yes the client is understanding you too are understanding and everybody explain is explain to us that happy. understanding that understanding yes. there is no happy ending bado but you know unamsud tu unamsud pole pole manume unamsud unamsud how blow job ah kuna blow job you don't start how do you do how do you suit that man kwa sababu wewe unaje mimi client i'm always right alafu bana labda ku massage ni maybe 5k then i i'll give you 10k yeah i hiyo ta 10k ni kidogo they give more 10k ni kidogo hiyo ni like minimum they give more for happy endings actually but, but you guys refuse yes you refuse kwa sababu unajua pia mkipea na happy ending sana mm-hmm. ama mnapea client happy ending kuna kuna some respect yenye inapotea. inapotea kuna respect plan yenye inapotea so our clients love us kwa sababu we are professional but we cater to their needs vizuri mm-hmm. so kitoka hapo yes maybe haijafika to the happy ending but atatoka akiwa happy mm-hmm. na atafeel hapo his needs bado zimekuwa catered hata kama hajapatiwa pia eh eh do you do the massages yourself Has it affected the relationship between you and your man? Mm-hmm. These uh, employees of yours, yeah, mm-hmm. it may affect pia na mahusiano yao na wanaume wao labda wazazi wao. Um I can say we are we are lucky we are, no we are not lucky because I don't like to use that word but I think we are, we have very supportive partners me and my team because um as much as working in a spa is a bit stigmatized because we are giving men massages We still have very solid relationships. My girls have solid relationships with their boyfriends and their partners. I have a very solid relationship with my partner. Hi daddy. Unampenda sana. Ye gon, ye gon ni roho yangu. Ni roho ye gon. Ni roho yangu. Amekupea nini hiyo ambayo wengine hawajakupa? Amenipea support. Amenipea support. Amenipea understanding. Amenipea a chance yangu for me to be myself. Mm-hmm. So he loves me as I am. Lakini hii mdomo mdomo yenye mnaona niko na nyoka hapa nikiwa huko kwa nyuma na kwanga na sim. Umetulia. Na kwanga ni na sim. 
That's very important. Yes, yes. You have to separate work and home. You can't be I'm a CEO here, I'm the boss here. But at home I'm not the boss. He's the boss. I will see you. Yeah. And I have to give him the respect that he deserves. And I have to give him the respect that he deserves. Will you ever regret dropping out of school? And will you like going back to school? I don't regret dropping out of school. Because I'm busy long holidays because I'm busy to time, time, time. Now time is money. Pesa. Pesa. But I'd like to go back to school and to pursue maybe a business, a mini low business and major in business or just finance. Yeah, financial analysis. We to the Luciana biashara pesa, biashara pesa. Yeah. Yani as in mambo hiyo ngine utachana nao ya arts Unachana uh, Yo mambo ni meachana nao Lakini nakuanga na deep down I love art, I love film, mm. I love theater So maybe ni diverse Later as maybe as a producer or something yeah. eh, But Your clan base na famisho kwamba Bishops, you know Sheks Watu wana siyasa ndo mm. klant base yako. Is it hey. true ama ni porojo tuza mtandao? Ni ukweli. We serve people you would not believe and we have like an NDA among the employees so no information gets out. We've served big politicians here. We've served big bishops. Like this yeah. one you see kwa crusades. Yeah. We've seen, we've served big bishops. Tume serve watu wenye wame heal. Samu wengu wengine wanakonga na wanawa heal on TV. We've served them here. Yes. Wana mwa nasema pokea nguvu za kiume. Hapa sasa tumewambia pokea relaxation. Pokea utamu. And they love it. For real? Yes. Like they call mkwapi. Na wanafika hapa. Na wanafika. Wanapak pale. Yes. Unajua uziru uneza pak hapa. Uneza pak hapa exit 11. Hapa kwa nya machoma. It's in parking space yote tukwa allowed. So mtu nadhani uko kwa nya machoma kubo unapokea utamu. And they love it because we don't take their pictures. We don't expose them. We don't even say anything about them. Yes. Kwa sabu yuna disclosure. It's very disclosure. Anatoka anava nini yake. Iyo ya white na ruby charge. Adi Sundays wana kujanga. Kuzi open even on Sundays. Mtu anatoka kanisa anakuja. Anatoka kuhudumia waumini anakuja wanapata uduma. Ayo hata shakes tukona wawa wapa. Na tunawapenda. Wanasiasa nojua wanasumbua sana. Wanasiasa ndi wanasumbua sana. How do you deal with them? Actually wanasiasa ndi our most demanding employees. Kwa sababu unajua wamezoea uko nze kuna certain reception wanapata. But unajua wakikuja uku. Everyone is equal. Yes. The politician na the person who is spending 500 on the haircut. Wote wako equal. Yes. Kwa kikujo uko wana kujanga na kiburi kidogo. But we humble them real quick. Awe siyo. Awe siyo. And they still love it. I will see you. Yes. Hey, Bwana, inspiration umeipata mskizaji ya mtazama ni mbona mtazama. Mwene Frey hapa hivyo mbae, I commence chamber. Mbana sema mbomba ni aje. It's going big, you know. Watu Mombasa memuomba, watu Nakuru memuomba, town centers hivili wa memuomba. Kuna mtoto wa kiki mbana mtazama sa hivi mwene Frey. Yes. Mbae, ana almost ana give up. Ametegemia sponsor, ametegemia boyfriend, you know. What can you tell that that boy? Look at that camera. Kama if you are a female and you are giving you are giving up on your business, ama ato ujanza a business, you are in school, you unataka ku grow so fast, you want fast money, fast cash. First of all that is wrong. Fast money, fast cash, fast downfall. You have to work hard. You have to wake up and look for money the right way. In in a way that it will leave you dignified. And in a, and first of all, most of all, do not rely on your partner. Do not go to a man for financial rescuing. You have to be you have to be independent. You have to be proud of who you are. You have to wake up every morning. Go to the mirror and tell yourself positive things. Tell yourself you are beautiful, you are capable, you are strong, and you can do it. And don't listen to fake friends. Don't surround yourself with fake friends. People who tell you, when you want to work, they tell you, let's go party. You want to go to class, they tell you, let's go party. They tell you, let's go shopping. Kuna huyu mbaba ati atakupatia 20K. Mbaba si wako, kumutuwe mbaba kona bibi yake, na ila siku atakupata wewe. 
Well, well, utakipata. Wow. Dignity. Tafuta hela yenye dignity. Hakuna pesa tamu kama mtoto wa kike ama wakima ambao ni yako wewe mwenyewe. Yes. Siende kule kwangu unaonyesha mitandao ni kwamba mm. you are all fly. Lakini watu wengi behind the scene sio fly by the way. Bwana mm. mm. mwende mimi nashukuru sana lakini kabla niende mm. sinipate watu wake kidogo. Ye yeah, tracking unaipata unataka mmoja wa wili. Nataka watatu. Ah. <laughs> ah. Ama wewe tu Ah. Ah mimi si twa. Oh, usha usha kwa CEO. Ni kama nimeritaya. Ah, usha retire. Hawa ah, wayangu ndio sasa wazuri. Yeah. Au sio. Nataka ndio leo nifanyie mambo hivi mm. alafu watu wako nione yeah. alafu wenzetu bwana. Bili. Eh bili atatoka hapa akiwa. Au sio. Yeah. Wife wangu akiogopa. Ah wife hapa ana farila sababu ana venye unakaa umeekwa vizuri. Au sio. Umebetezwa. Eh bwana mtazamaji wa Big Lock Clock Mkwambia kwamba bwana tunaenda break kidogo alafu tuje nipate yale ma- mautamu ambayo yanapatikana men's chamber au sio? Niko mtu wa kiki hapa hivi anaitwa Pauline. Mau vipi Pauline? Uko fiti? Hebu nipo utamu wa men's chamber nisikie pia au sio? Alafu wajua takat kidogo maana kuna part fulani pia hatuwezi onyesha bwana. Ndio. Mambo yao yawe shwari. Alafu wajua ndoa pia lazima tuzi maintain bwana. Ndoa muhimu sana. Lakini Kurugenzi ananiambia kwamba hapa hivi unapata mautamu tu bila kuharibu ndoa au sio. But how long have you been working as a baba? I've worked for one year. One year. Yeah. Ah. Na ulisomea kabisa? Eh, yeah, nilisomea college. Kule gani? Beauty Point. For how long? For three months. Na umeona una trust ukiwanywa? Si wote. Mm. Nakusumbua. Sumbua na sumbua. Unasema aje? Unasema <laughs> sema je tu wanaume? Eh. Yeah. Shoot their shots. <laughs> Wame shoot sana. <laughs> Mtoto wa Kibongo lazima adegeze mtu sio? Eh bwana shukran sana mtazamaji wa Billy O'Clock. Don't forget to subscribe pale katika Billy O'Clock au sio? Pale katika Twitter, eka pale Billy O'Clock, Facebook Billy O'Clock, Instagram Billy O'Clock. Alafu bwana katika YouTube pale unaeka Billy Mio na subscribe notification ikuwe on. Eh bwana, on to the next one. Till next time and we are out.